everybody, this is Slackathor. If you saw my last video, you saw this trapdoor drawbridge, which uh, I've heard called a wave drawbridge now. Uh, and basically it uses these repeaters to delay the opening and the closing of the bridge until I've run across them. And I'll show you this really quick. I'll put a link to that video up in the annotations here. I'm just going to show you this real quick. Okay. And uh, the problem with this is there's no way back. There's, I have not figured out any kind of way to make these repeaters, you know, work in a reverse pattern. So what I've done is I've built Slackathor's Trapdoor Drawbridge Mark II. And we're going to go over here and show you that. Looks like there was a creeper up there, though. So might have to take care of some business so we don't destroy our bridge. To see what's going on here with the creeper. I saw him when I was pressing the F. Uh, these uh, sheep here are going to cause problems too. Okay, so basically the way this works is the doors are open. I step on the platform or the pressure pad. They close, and I can spend as much time in here as I need to spend. Uh, and when I get to the other end. There's two more pressure plates. I'm going to kind of run from the creeper. I saw him up here. I just don't know where he is. Okay. Anyway, in the last video, I caught a little flack because I didn't take the time to stop and explain the redstone. So people thought I was just copying the uh, somebody else's design, which I wasn't. It just a whole bunch of us kind of came up with something very similar uh, right around the same time. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and explain how the redstone work, works for this. Uh, our pressure plates are right behind that block right there. And this redstone wire uh, comes from underneath of them. And it goes up this little uh, couple of steps here till it gets to this. This is a T flip flop. And what that does is it turns the power on and it keeps the power on until I've hit another switch or the same switch again and at which point it you know turns it back off which allows the trap doors to be closed for an extended period of time even though a pressure plate is what I'm using okay so this is the output of the uh, T flip flop and it's it's the same on both sides over here I'm just gonna show you the one side basically it comes down and I've grouped my trap doors into groups of three so every little branch here controls three trap doors okay and as we go you know back down here we'll get back to our pressure plates oops I fell okay so now we're back up here we're gonna walk across the bridge When we get to the other side here, it's going to open up again, and I'll show you the rest of the redstone. And that is right over here. This line of redstone here connects those pressure pads. Oh, come on, get down. Connects those pressure plates to the input that we were just looking at. Okay, that's the same line here. And it connects to the input of the T flip flop which makes every time I hit the pressure pl plate it changes the state of the doors so one more time we step on the pressure plate the doors close we step off of it nothing happens till we get to the end and we hit the pressure plates again now if you're gonna build this I'll give you one little bit of warning let's uh not have grass around your pressure plates or anywhere where uh, friendly mobs or hostile mobs can step on your pressure plate because then while you're on the way across the bridge all of a sudden they step on the pressure plate and you fall to your doom. Another idea I've had but I don't think I really have room right here to to get it going is uh, putting a combination lock on the drawbridge so that only you can can cross it and as soon as they come up with uh, iron trap doors, uh, you know, this will be a reality where you have to put in the combination. 
uh, because there's one downside to the wooden trap doors here, and that's that I can just walk across. Just by closing the trap doors. Like this. So as soon as they come up with iron patches that you know have to be controlled by a switch or some sort of redstone input, then this will be a viable security option for your Minecraft base. Thank you very much for watching.